I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Nixon from the three. And he's tackled at the 29. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gets to about the 37-yard line. The 39-yard line. You know, on these shorter distances to pick up a first down, it's basically the offensive line matching up against the defensive line. And on that particular conversion, the offensive line did a nice job of getting just enough of a push to give the back enough room for the first down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Tackle at about the 35. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. I think the quarterback that time just felt the pressure and just got rid of the football before he took the sack. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields a punt at the 20. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. run and he's brought down Sims picks up about seven yards on the option keeper and he hits him hard at the 49 he kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback Taken down at the 42-yard line. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. Looks like offsides. Here's the official call. Offside. Defense. It's easy to teach guys to watch the ball and not listen to the quarterback's cadence, but some quarterbacks are just so good at barking out the signals that they're still able to draw some of these guys off sides. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. He's lucky just to get back to the line of scrimmage on that option. That brings up second and eight. Quickly, and he's got his man. That makes it 37. Run up, Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He's tackled right around the 26 yard line. This is a great call. From here, it looked like the defense was fooled and reacted a little bit late to the screen. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. 
Gets to about the 24-yard line. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second down. From the 29-yard line, second down. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Not much on that try. They'll face a fourth and long. No one on the defensive side of the ball was fooled that time, Brad. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Georgia Tech could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Kelly ready to kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Yellow Jackets are right where they want to be early in this one, Mark. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Five wide. Brought down around the 38-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's a good play here in the secondary. When the safety commits, he needs to be there at the right time because he's the last line of defense. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Williams picks up about three with that catch. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Gaining four yards. First down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Hey, check Mike. Check Mike. Mike six. Mike six. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Eagle. Fires out to his receiver. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. That brings him second and five. in a hurry and down he goes at the 22 big opening he's knocked out of bounds at about the 17 yard line that makes it second and six Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 3-0, Georgia Tech.
Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Tackles him hard at the 15. Thompson off the right side, and he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a team of four. First down. Man can't tack on any yardage. They come out in a five wide set. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. From the 11 yard line. It's second down. Goes to the end zone. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. It was a 14-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Central Florida kicked this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And they push him out right around the 42-yard line. That was a nice kick return. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. A little toss across the middle. Tackle at the 43-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of six on the play. That, that makes, makes it third and 15. 15. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 44. Moore makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. That makes it fourth and eight. Anderson back deep to return. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. The halfback with a carry. Runs right for a nice game. That's good for a game. That'll make it second and four. Central Florida holds a four-point lead. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. The 45. That's a team of seven. Right left, right left. First down. Four down, four down. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Another run. Gains his way to the 39 yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. They come out on an empty backfield. Nice run up 
the middle. That makes it second and six. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. He's brought down in the open field. Jackson makes the second ball at the 15 yard line. First down. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the seven. The Knights will use their first time out of the half. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Looking for his man, incomplete. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. Central Florida is up four. Scrambling around. And he's taken down right around the two-yard line. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That brings him second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Tackle made at the two-yard line. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. out to his receiver and they make the stop at the 47 yard line camp picks up seven yards with that catch they're about four yards away here on second down they'll spread the field with five wide had his hands on it and dropped it smart heady play by that defender that was solid fundamental pass defense in the shotgun and five wideouts. Caught out in the open. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Five wide. Now he's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. He's at the 20, and he is drilled at the 20-yard line. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. The Knights lead it 10-3. 
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. you got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. The Knights continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Caught and big hit there to stop it. That's good for the three yards. That'll make it second to seven. He might have a chance. Touchdown, Knights. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. To review, review the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. receiver and he can't make the grab. So it's third down now and they're going to need about four. They'll bring him down at the 34. Anderson back to return it. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The Knights aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall much better here in the second half. We're about set to start things up again. He tackles him for a loss. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 28. He might have a chance. That'll make it 
Brought down at the 47. He's under pressure. He gets sacked on the play. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are gonna feel it the next day. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Takes it right and brought down right away. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. Over the middle to his tailback. He's taken down at the 49. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. He's on the run. Slides down. quickly and it's picked off and he's tackled at the 44 yard line the linebacker here does a good job with his instincts of getting in the path of the receiver boy what a great play from the 44 yard line first down And he's hit immediately. Thomas makes the tackle at the 44 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Mike, 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 Makes it to the 17. They come out in a five wide set. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Big opening. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's a game on the play. That makes, that makes it first and goal. goal. First down. Nevada and they come to the line with a first and goal. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Touchdown, UCF. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Central Florida is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia Tech's getting stomped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points up. Quick throw. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Second and six. Let's go deep. He's into the open field. He's at midfield. To the 20. They're not done yet. He hits the PAT. A quick two-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The score now, 24-10. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He makes it to the 28-yard line. He'll work the left side with a counter play. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he just gets rid of it. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 24-10, UCF. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. Gets out to about the 32-yard line. Anderson back deep to return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And down he goes at the 35. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. it out to about the 49. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. They come out on an empty backfield. Yeah. 
Tackle made around the 33-yard line. That's a game of 16. First down. They go with the back, and he's hammered in the backfield. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Just under three to go in regulation. Nice run there. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. Nothing going there for the halfback on that option play. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Steps out of bounds at the 29. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 29. They'll spread the field with five wide. Looks to his receiver, first down. Very good tackle in space. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Quick strike, and he drops it. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. It's second and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he's going to come up with a sack. Calling the loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Chucks it downfield. Anderson is back to receive. He fields a punt at the 20. He's tackled at the 31. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Loss of two by the halfback. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball in the 29. outside after a nice pickup. And the ball game's over. And our final score on this one, 27 to 10, UCF.
Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.